Welcome to News Today with WW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for December 2nd, 2019. Catherine Powell, the former president of Disney Parks Western Region, which included Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and the Disneyland Paris Resorts, has released a statement regarding her leave from the company. Her position, first introduced in March 2018, was eliminated in the recent corporate shakeup within the company. In Powell's personal LinkedIn page, she posted a long, heartfelt statement on her tenure at Disney and her reflections upon parting with the company. Quote, Today is my last day at Disney after 15 and a half years, during which time I have had an amazing opportunity to work across multiple businesses in all corners of the world with incredible people. Apparently, Walt Disney himself said, you may not realize it when it happens, but a kick in the teeth may be the best thing in the world for you. I, can, I can't say gratitude was front of mind when it happened, but after some weeks, uh, but some weeks after learning I was leaving Disney, I can reflect with immense appreciation on the opportunities and experiences afforded to me and my family. And most importantly, on the chance to meet and work with so many incredible people who have lifted me up over the past 15 years to make me a much better version of myself. As I make my jump to yet another stepping stone, I am excited and curious about what this next chapter might have in store. Maybe Walt was right, and this will be the best thing in the world for me. You may remember that uh, Disney kind of insisted that she was deciding to part on her own. Obviously, from that statement, it's not really the case. It definitely indicates uh, that she was pushed out of the company. But um, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, next, obviously, um, there's a lot of resentment for Bob Chapek over this. Um, she was viewed by some to be the next in line for his job. And some people think uh, she was thrown under the bus for what happened with Galaxy's Edge over the course of this year. But um, we'll see. Rise of the Resistance set to open in a few days' time. I feel like uh, something something's going to happen. Someone's either going to succeed or not. And uh, we may be seeing a couple more big corporate departures like this before the year's over or early next year. This week is a very special week for Disney fans as December 5th marks the birthday of Walt Disney and we're always looking for ways to honor and celebrate the man and the mouse who started it all. Today a new limited release magic band has arrived at shelves, uh, on shelves. The all white band features Walt Disney on one end and another end dotted with the vintage Mickey Mouse plush. We found it at the dark room at Disney's Hollywood Studios for $29.99. You also get it online via Shop Disney. The 2019 Epcot International Festival of the Holidays began on Friday, November 29th. The massive Christmas tree is up at the main entrance at the World Showcase, and the placards describing the holiday traditions of each pavilion around the world are now posted. This year's festival runs for 32 days from November 29th through December 30th, 2019, and boasts 25 different holiday kitchens. We have reviews for every last holiday kitchen and item, including uh, such hits as the turkey poutine, the latkes, a frozen hot chocolate martini, the kawaii chirasi sushi tree, and more. Be sure to visit WWNT.com to download our free PDF guide to the festival. This includes links to all the reviews. It tells you what we liked, what we didn't like, what our favorite item at each booth is, and much, much more. This year's festival merchandise features our favorite dynamic duo, Chip and Dale. Everyone's beloved mischievous chipmunks are featured on this year's festive spirit jersey, long sleeve adult tee, and magic band. Check out the full collection of merchandise from the event as well on our site. Construction walls have gone up inside of the Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival Theater at Epcot for the new Mickey Mouse meet and greet coming soon. Mickey and friends used to meet at Character Spot in Interventions West, but this location closed back in September, and Mickey was moved to a temporary location just around the corner. Now it seems he'll be getting another temporary home to meet all his fans at the Imagination Pavilion. Eventually, we expect a new Character Spot to be added as part of World Celebration, but uh, for now, he's going to be moving in here. As soon as you enter the building for the Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival, you'll find walls up on your right, and they line most of the right side of the entrance. The benches remain in front of the walls, so you can still have a seat if you're waiting for the next show. These walls aren't affecting the attraction, so of course you can still stop by and enjoy the Disney and Pixar shorts. While this new meet and greet location is set to open in early 2020, no official date has been announced as of yet. Over at the Magic Kingdom, Disney has been doing its best to complete some aspects of construction projects to prevent walkway blockages and better crowd flow at this busy time of year. Last week, the new dining area by Liberty Square Market opened, giving much needed additional seating for the holiday crowds. At the Magic Kingdom's front entrance, construction sites have been resized to accommodate the masses of holiday guests. When exiting the monorail, it was apparent that the construction walls were shifted to widen the walkway for guests traveling between the monorail and the main entrance. You can tell because it looks like a mess. There's <laughs> some new pavement and some old pavement, and it's not a straight line. It's kind of broken up. It's, it's, uh, 
That's progress for you. At least, at least we're getting closer and closer to that reimagined uh, park arrival experience of the Magic Kingdom. Our new park logo marquee has been added to the security screening area of Disney's Hollywood Studios. The park has seen a number of improvements over the year in anticipation of the opening of Galaxy's Edge, including a brand new entrance plaza, the addition of the Disney Skyliner station, plus a revamped security screening area. The sign was added over the top of the security area, giving it some much needed flair. It was completely blank before this. The marquee sign is painted in a darker, stronger shade of teal with the new Disney's Hollywood Studios logo prominently featured in silver tones. It doesn't look so bad without the characters. It's okay. I obviously don't think anything was wrong with the last logo, but um, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's not the best either. We'll, we'll live. I think we'll live. Centertown Market at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort has received the royal treatment. Two new cupcakes have arrived, and they're inspired by Disney royalty, Elsa, and Ariel. The Ariel-inspired underwater princess cupcake uses the same color scheme as everyone's favorite Little Mermaid. Stops with the half green and half white traditional buttercream icing. And Elsa would approve of the water spirit cupcake because we all know how much she and Anna love chocolate. It's topped with a white chocolate piece that features Elsa and the knock. Crispy pearls and small white sprinkles were placed on the cupcake, adding a nice crunchy texture. You can read a review of both of these new offerings at WDWNT.com. A new hotel, of course, is coming to the Epcot Resort area. Last November, Marriott International announced the addition to the Swan and Dolphin Hotel Complex, which the company owns and operates. The new hotel is called The Cove and will be located across Epcot Resorts Boulevard from the Swan and Dolphin, directly beside the Fantasia Gardens miniature golf courses. The Cove's construction site expanded to encompass Fantasia Gardens' old parking lot, and the new parking lot has opened. The new parking lot is in odd shape, and the parking spots are a little tight. Wide walkways lined with palm trees now lead from the parking lot to Fantasia Gardens. The beginnings of a structure are poking up from behind the construction walls, as you see now. From the amount of wood and rebar being used in the current structure, it seems that concrete is about to be poured to form pillars. The cove is set to open in 2021. We're one month away from 2020, and Disney is rolling out all kinds of New Year merchandise. We found a phone flipper a couple of weeks ago, and now we've spotted some more items uh, with, in, mixed in with the soon-to-be-defunct 2019 offerings. The new line includes a Mickey Mouse plush, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and a hoodie. Park-specific 2020 logo pins have also been released. They feature Sorcerer Mickey in front of Spaceship Earth at Epcot, Russell from Up in front of the Tree of Life and Animal Kingdom, Mickey and Minnie watching fireworks in front of Cinderella Castle at the Magic Kingdom, and a spinner pin with Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Donald spinning around the castle. You'll be jungling all the way with the new Jingle Cruise Tiki Mug coming to Disney Parks this December. Trader Sam has imported an unusual tiki design from the islands to celebrate this holiday season. The decorative nutcracker is getting a new native look uh, and should be soon available at the, as the latest mug release at Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar at the Disneyland Hotel. The mug will be available on Wednesday, December 4th, starting at 7 a.m. There's a limit of two per guest with no discounts available. The ornament, which we previewed back in November, is available for $24.99 while supplies last on Shop Disney. But once further details are released on these mugs, they should be available as well here at Walt Disney World at Boutique at the Polynesian Resort and the Disneyland Hotel at the Disneyland Resort. Rumor also has it that December 4th we'll see the release at Trader Sam's Grog Grotto here in Florida, uh, but our mug will be red. That's at least what people are saying so far. Disney California Adventure has released a new holiday popcorn bucket featuring some of our favorite Pixar characters and silhouettes of some of the classic DCA attractions. Dory and Nemo would like to wish you seas and greetings. Sully and Boo wish you scary Christmas. Joy, sadness, and anger say joy to the world. And finally, Remy from Ratatouille is reminding us that tis the seasonings. We found the bucket available at the popcorn stand across from the Carthay Circle Theater for $9. With no official opening date or season in sight, the only thing tiding us over until we get to see the new Zootopia-themed land at Shanghai Disneyland are these adorable, inspired construction walls that keep popping up around the land's perimeter. We've seen a number of designs go up over the past year, featuring everything from a Zootopia city seal to a series of tiny construction doors for animals of all shapes and sizes. Expanding upon those themes is the latest set of walls featuring even more characters from the animated smash hit. These new walls posted by Twitter user, I'm going to butcher this, Gourmetti, uh, show the same set of doors in three different sizes, from large to small, plus a great Tundra Town limo service ad featuring Kozlov the polar bear. Another series of fake ads for the land are featured on the walls, including a tiger dancing club and exotic imports. This new expansion will be the park's eighth theme land and the first ever Zootopia theme land at any Disney park in the world. 
This project marks the second major expansion of Shanghai Disney Resort since it opened back in 2016. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WWNT.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Uh, very quickly, I'd like to thank all of you who tuned in over the weekend for our 50-hour live broadcast to benefit Toys for Tots. Uh, in case you didn't hear, we raised over $13,000 for the charity, which is really, really spectacular. Um, this is Our goal was only $8,000, so $13,000 is... Uh, a wee bit higher than we were expecting. So thank you uh, to everyone out there who helped us reach that goal. And if you missed out or forgot to donate, you still can at toys.wdwnt.com. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow.